welcome to my office. Ah, I almost didn't make it today. I was so busy working on my computer back here and I realized it's time for stories. So you guys get to join me in my office today and I'm really, really excited to be here. So our theme today is about my favorite place. What do you think a librarian's favorite place might be? What do you think? Did any of you say library? You would be right. So today is all about loving the library. And I have some fun stories to share with you. I hope you enjoy them. The first one is called Corduroy Goes to the Library. Do you guys like corduroy stories? Okay, here we go. This is a little different in my office. I might have to move a couple things off my desk to be able to get close enough for you to see our story today. Today is Corduroy's favorite day of the week because today is the day he goes to the library. But first, he must find the three books he needs to return. Now, where could they be? What do you think? Where would books be at your house? Would you have books under your bed? Those look like slippers. How about in your bed? Well, that's not a book. How about under your pillow? There's one. How many is he supposed to find? Three, right? Here's some clothes on the floor. Those are toys. How about under this rug? Oh, there's two. All right, we have two down and one to go. Is there any more hidden places? How about in the laundry basket? Airplane? Oh, I wonder if he put any in his drawers. There's not a book in there. That looks like a flashlight and a whistle. I keep clothes in my drawers. How about you? Oh, there's some clothes. And I found book number three. Okay, time to go to the library. It's raining outside, so Corduroy wears his boots, raincoat, and hat. He listens to the sound of the raindrops on his umbrella. Don't get your books wet, Corduroy. I bet there's some hidden things in this page, too. There's a guy reading a book on a bus. Looks like a bear. And in this baby carriage... There's a little guy reading a book. And here's Corduroy with his one, two, three books. And there's a cat reading a book in the coffee shop. And hey, there's a fox reading a newspaper. All right. Now we're at the library. Corduroy returns his books that he borrowed. Hey, that looks like our book drop, doesn't it? Down the chute they go. The library is a busy place and there are many things to do. Should Corduroy read a book in a cozy chair? Should he look at a magazine or play on the computer? It's almost time for story hour, so Corduroy heads for the children's section. So behind here is where the books drop, right? Can you guys see that? Let's see, what other hidden things? Oh, we can open these books. Beady Bear. What's that one say? Quilt. Oh, quiet. There's a canary in the library. That's pretty funny. Those are little letters for my old eyes. Okay, and there's a dog reading this book called Puppies. Story time. Today the librarian is reading books about farms. After the stories, everyone makes animal masks. Corduroy pretends to be a cow. There he is. Moo, moo. Next week we'll play a game called Who Am I, says the library. Librarian, come dressed as your favorite character from a book. And everyone will try to guess who you are. There's a penguin underneath the chicken mask. And underneath this is another bear. And underneath this is a dog. All right. 
Before Corduroy leaves the library, he wants to pick some new books to take home. There are so many to choose from. Finally, Corduroy finds three books he likes. He takes them to the librarian and gives her his library card. She stamps the books with the date they are due back. Good choices, Corduroy. He got Fuzzy Tail Bear and A Rainbow of My Own and Space Witch. That looks fun. Okay, all week long, Corduroy and his friends work on their book character costume, costumes. Who do you think Corduroy will be? Who's his friend? I think maybe Little Red Riding Hood. And what do you think this one is? Oh, he has a hook arm. I don't know. Somebody's hiding underneath this jacket. Is this the dress up box? Oh, this is the craft box. That's a good bunch of stuff they have there. What, what does Corduroy look like he's going to be? Let's see. Finally, it's library day again. Can you guess who Corduroy is? He's right here. Who do you think he is? And we have the Ugly Duckling. We have Little Red Riding Hood. We have the Gingerbread Man. And we have Cinderella back here. And look at the librarian. Who is she? Oh, she has lollipops in her pocket. I bet she's Mother Goose. And then this is who Corduroy is. Do you know who that character is? Peter Pan. That was fun. That was really fun. Dressing up for library day. We might have to try that sometime. What do you think? Okay, I have another story about libraries. Little Bo Peep's library book. Mother Goose Library. Little Bo Peep's library book. Little Bo Peep had lost her sheep and she didn't know where to find them. So, Little Bo Peep went to the cornfield where she found Little Boy Blue reading a book. Is that a book about how to find sheep? asked Little Bo Peep. No, said Little Boy Blue, but look in the library. You might find one there. So, Little Bo Peep went to the library where she found Mother Goose, the helpful librarian. Have you got a book about how to find sheep? asked Little Bo Peep. I am sure we have, said Mother Goose. Lamb is in the cooking section. You might find one there. So Little Bo Peep went to the cooking section where she found the Big Bad Wolf reading a book. Is that book about how to find sheep, asked Little Bo Peep? No, said the Big Bad Wolf, but thefts are in the crime section. You might check there. So we have all these great cookbooks here. Look at basic little girl cookery. Does that look like something the Big Bad Wolf would read? Silly. So Little Bo Peep went to the crime section where she found the Queen of Hearts reading a book. Is that book about how to find sheep? Asked Little Bo Peep. No, said the Queen of Hearts. But animals are in the natural history section. You might find it there. What is the Queen of Hearts reading? Who stole the tarts? Oh my goodness. So Little Bo Peep went to the natural history section where she found exactly the book she was looking for. How to find sheep. So Little Bo Peep took that book to the librarian's desk and the librarian stamped it with her stamping thing. And Little Bo Peep went 
home. She sat down in her own front room and read that book from cover to cover. And when she had read it, Little Bo Peep went to her own front door and opened it and looked outside where she found sheep. Fun story. So, who likes to come to the library and get books and take them home? And that's called borrowing, right? We borrow books from the library. We check them out at the desk. And they have a due date when you bring them back because they belong to everyone that uses the library. And we want to make sure that we're bringing them back so that the next person who wants to read that story can check them out too. Really amazing, right? I think it's pretty cool. I have one more story to read today. Another bear story. Library book for bear. Let's see. Bear had never been to the library. He had seven very nice books at home. Three about kings and queens. Three about honeybees and one about pickles. Bear was quite sure he had all the books he would ever need. One morning, Bear heard a tap, tap, tapping on his door. When he opened the door, there was Mouse, small and gray and bright eyed. We're off, exclaimed Mouse with a happy wag of his whiskers. Bear frowned. He had agreed to go with Mouse to the library, but now he was quite sure it was a dreadful mistake. Completely unnecessary, he, Bear announced. I have all the books I need right here. Oh, there are many delightful books in the library, Mouse assured him. Hmm, Bear grumbled, but he had promised. So he buckled up his red roller skates and stepped outside, grabbing a basket for the books. <laughs> that is funny. That's a bear on roller skates. Ah, uh, holding a basket with a mouse. Okay, Bear skated and Mouse rode in the basket to the library, the wind rippling nicely through their fur. I don't think Bear looks super happy. But when they got to the library, Bear didn't like how big it looked. Huh, there are far too many books in there, he protested. Most excessive. Oh, it's quite exciting, Mouse said leading Bear through the tall doors. In the library were more books than Bear had ever thought there could be. He quickly found a tucked away corner, but even here there were lots and lots of books. Hmm, terribly extravagant. Bear's voice was a little loud. I shall find the perfect one for you, said Mouse quietly in his library voice. One about pickles, commanded Bear. After all, he had only one of those, but Mouse had whisked away. Mouse came back with a thick green book. Bear opened it. Rocket ships? Ridiculous, Bear's voice was getting louder. A good book about pickles is all I require. Remember, Quiet in the library, murmured Mouse, as he scurried off. He soon returned with a tall yellow book. I am not interested in wooden canoes. Bear's voice was even louder. Quiet voices in the library, Mouse reminded him. My voice is always quiet, Bear shouted. I will find my own book. I can assure you that pickles are quite interesting. Mouse didn't look so sure, but Bear quickly spotted a blue book 
with a pickle on the spine, and Mouse sprang up the shelf to get it for him. Inside were pictures of pickles. The pickles had little fairy wings. They were dancing with petunias. No dancing pickles, Bear roared. Shh, said a voice. Bear peeked around the bookshelf. There sat a librarian with a cluster of youngsters gathered around her. The librarian smiled, but a mother squirrel squished an angry finger against her lips. And an old raccoon said sternly, Quiet in the library. Bear turned back with a huffy sniff. I know when I'm not wanted, he told Mouse. I want to go home. Surely at least one book, Mouse began. But Bear cut him off. I have all the books I need. He looked quite certain. Then we are off, said Mouse, but his whiskers didn't wag this time. Bear stood stock still. He was listening carefully to a voice on the other side of the bookshelf. So the very brave bear began to inch his way toward the treasure chest, the voice was saying. I'm ready, began Mouse. Shh, exclaimed Bear. It's just getting to the good part. But you said, quiet voices in the library, Bear bellowed. This time, the librarian got up and looked around the bookshelf at Bear. Bear stood very still and quiet, as if he had been still and quiet all along. Would you like to join story time? The librarian asked. Bear glanced at Mouse. We'd love to have you, said the librarian. Bear and Mouse scooted around the shelf and found two empty chairs. The librarian began to read again. Bear lifted the lid to the treasure chest and inside, the librarian paused. Mouse and Bear strained forward. Inside, she said, was a mound of pickle slices and each shining slice was made of diamonds and gold. And everyone shouted, Hooray for the very brave bear! And then she said, The end. Bear stared dreamily into space for a moment. Then he looked over at Mouse and announced, As I said, pickles are most interesting. Indeed, said Mouse. Later, Mouse rode in the basket with seven new books. There were two about wooden canoes, two about rocket ships, two about teapots, and one called The Very Brave Bear and the Treasure of Pickle Island, which Bear read to Mouse that very same day. Oh my goodness. Those were great stories, weren't they, friends? I'm so happy you got to come join me for story time today. My favorite day of the week is story time when I get to read library stories to my friends. I hope to see you soon, either at the library or again next week for story time. Thanks for joining me in my office today. It's a great place to work. Bye for now, friends. <laughs>